Well, just imagine a cell phone contract that is written in plain English that you could cancel at any time with a limited cancellation fee. If a new provincial bill becomes law, all wireless contracts will have to be that way. The story now from our Queen's Park reporter, Mike Crawley. Triple the minutes. And double the data. You've seen the promises for wireless plans, but what about the fine print? Get the hottest phones. Like the Maybe a market. whopping fee to cancel your contract or surprise charges not included in that low monthly price. What do you hate about cell phone contracts? Ugh, don't even get me started. Oh my gosh. Tamika Gittens wanted to switch providers, but was in the middle of a three year contract. And they're just like, no, you either um, pay out this big fee or you're stuck with us. Now, from the province, a move to put an end to that. Legislation that would mean you can cancel any wireless contract with a cap on cancellation fees. People do not understand, you know, long contracts with fine print. The bill would also force wireless companies to explain in plain language what services are included in a plan and what the extra costs are. We just want consumers to have... Uh, uh, clarity in those contracts and, and know what their uh, rights are. Four other provinces already have laws like this on the books. The only protection in Ontario right now is the industry's code of conduct. The Liberals have been talking about protecting wireless customers for a couple of years. This is actually the third time they've brought in legislation. The two previous bills died before they became law, once because of the election and once because the Liberals shut down the legislature. It's frustrating. I mean, they've, they've brought this forward a number of times as a way to kind of, I guess, try to tap into people's uh, uh, concerns, but then they never bring it over the finish line. The bill won't be introduced until next week, and the opposition parties say they won't decide whether to support it until then. Mike Crawley, CBC News, Toronto.